All right, um, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to find the area of an oblique triangle. Um, so something that's a not, not a right triangle. So let's take a look at, I've got two non-right triangles here. Um, I've got an acute triangle and an obtuse triangle. And notice I've drawn the height for each one of them. So what I'm going to do is come up with a formula that allows me to take the area of this entire triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use angle B here. Okay, this angle here to find H. In order to find H, I would use um, H and A. This is the opposite and hypotenuse. So I would use sine. And you know what? It works the same here. If I was doing this, I'd go all the way to H here and A here. So it's going to work the same in both cases. So I would have the sine of angle B is the opposite over the hypotenuse, h over a. So I'm going to solve for h. So h, I'm just going to multiply a over, is a sine of b. So now that I have the, the formula for h, what I'm going to do is take the area of that triangle. And you remember that the area of any triangle is 1 half the base times the height. So we have area is equal to 1 half base times the height. So uh, I'm just going to plug in um, one half. Now the base, um, so I don't want to get confused here, our base is C. All right, so this is the base. It's not actually side B. It's, it's the base, which is side C. So here I'm going to have one half C times H, and H is the height, and we found H to be A sine B. So this is the area formula. You can find the area of an acute triangle. And actually, it works for an obtuse triangle here because notice that right here we have the obtuse triangle is going to have the same height. And we find the area the same way. So we have area is 1 half AC sine of B. Now, really what, what it comes down to is that you have the area of the two sides and an included angle. So you want um, any two sides. If I had B and C, I would want angle A. So I could also have 1 half BC, the sine of angle A. Or I could have 1 half, if I had angle, um, let's say I had side A and B, then the included angle would be side C. So we would have AB, I'm sorry, angle C the sine of angle C. So using any of these, we would um, be able to find the area of a non-right triangle. So let's take a look at an example using this area formula. So we have this triangle. So I'm going to go in and, and, and make this. I'm going to do the best I can to make this triangle. So it's up here. Let's go ahead and make a triangle. It's about 31 degrees here. And I mean that's I mean we we're not gonna say it's perfect, okay? So it's not gonna be. Um, let's say this is A, so we know this is thirty-one degrees. Um, we'll call this C and this B. So we know B is nine, and A side A here is twenty-two. We don't know side C. So what we need here is we need the two sides, two sides, any two sides in the included angle. So we have these two sides, um, but in order to use these two sides, we would need to know this angle. We don't, so we don't know that angle. So we're going to um, we're going to find that angle using the law of sines. So let's go ahead and use the law of sines. And what we could do is we could find angle B, and then find angle C, and then we have our two sides here. So um, let's go and find this angle. We're going to first find angle B. So we're going to go the sine of 31 degrees over 22 is equal to the sine of angle B over 9. And we'll solve for angle B here. So B is the inverse sine of 9 times sine 31 over 22, all right? 
And so that's going to give us 1, um, let's see, that's going to give us 12, about 12.2 12, uh, degrees. And then we'll subtract 180. Uh, actually, we'll add 31 and then and add 12.2 and then subtract 180. And that'll give us an angle C of 136.8 degrees. All right, so now we're going to use the area formula. One half AB sine of angle C. So we're going to have one half. A is 22. B is 9. And angle C is 136.8. And we'll enter that in our calculator, and we will come up with about 67.8. Okay, units squared, right? Square units. All right, and that's uh, using this formula for the um, finding the area of an oblique triangle. So let's take a look at a, a different formula. Um, sometimes we have all three sides. And we want to use, we have a formula we can use for all three sides and no angles. It's called Heron's formula. So Heron's formula, what we would need to do is find the, what's called semi-perimeter. It's half of the perimeter. And we plug it into this square root formula. So we're going to do this all kind of all at once here. We really don't need to draw a picture in this case because all we need to know is all three sides. So what we'll do is we'll just put all three sides in, the, in this uh, formula. So let's first find the semi-perimeter. So S is equal to 7 plus 9 plus 12 divided by 2. So we're going to uh, do that in a calculator. And we're going to get 14. I could have done that in my head, but just chose to throw it in the calculator. And then uh, we're going to figure out the area. So the area is going to be the square root of s, which was 14, times s minus a, so 14 minus 7, times s minus b, so 14 minus 9, and s minus c, 14 minus 12, and I'm going to throw that all in the calculator all at once here. Um, so allow me to, I'm going to multiply this up on my, my other computer here. 14 times 14 minus 7, 14 minus 9, and 14 minus 12. <clears throat> and that's going to give us about 31.3. The unit squared. All right. Um, and so that's it. That's how you use Heron's formula. So um, what I have in the next slide are two practice problems. And if, um, if you want, you can do the two practice problems. And the solution for those practice problems will be in the, um, uh, right after the WISC, if you're in my class and you're doing the WISC, the questions, the summary questions that go along with this video, you can look at the practice solutions. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide. Um, and when I go to the next slide, I'm re pretty much going to stop the video after a few seconds. So you're going to want to pause it and take a look at those exam those practice problems. Okay. So thanks again for coming in to watch this video, and we'll see you soon.